You might have heard that the latest version of Reaper, version 7, actually came out last week. Now there are so many people on YouTube who have made much better videos than I could explaining all the amazing new features, so I thought why not go back in time and see if it's even possible to write a piece of music using the first public release of Reaper. Spoiler alert, it did not go very well, but I think the end result was very entertaining, so take a look. Alright, let's give it a try. <laughs> Off to a phenomenal start. So I happen to know that there is a sample project uh, included with this first ever version of Reaper. Uh, and you can see it here, wow, it's got a bunch of stuff going on. <laughs> Even back then in 2006, they still had the ASIO standard and it picks up my ASIO drivers, which I think is hilarious and insane. Okay, I think that should work. Let's listen to this uh, demo project they made for us. Guitar is very funky. So I think it's a good place to start. Let's just try and do some like basic audio editing, I guess. So if I drag it down, usually in newer versions of Reaper, if you like drag the audio clip below the tracks, it just makes a new track for you. That is not going to happen this time. So we'll just make a new one manually. <laughs> it's the same hotkey to uh, split a clip. You just press S and it splits it. That is crazy. It's pretty rudimentary, but you have volume automation, and I gotta say, you can shift click or double click to add a node. It pretty much works the same way that it does today, which is bizarre. All right, I'm gonna try and see if I can load some of my own VSTs, uh, see which ones will work and which ones won't. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> I do not see contact. That's really interesting. I never knew what JS stands for. Turns out it's Jesusonic. That is biblical. <laughs> what? That is crazy. Wait, what is this? So you have all the re EQ. So you have all the re plugs in this weird, like, command line interface. This is bananas. This is so cool. Okay, what if I point the Jesusonic effects folder at my current one that I use at the new version of Reaper? Oh no, I've totally broken it. Oh dear. <laughs> They're all gone. Okay, I kind of suspected that that might have been a disaster, so we're going to try a slightly newer, more up-to-date version of Reaper. This is Reaper version 1.8. This is from 2007, and I chose this one because they added a lot of MIDI improvements that I hope will make it possible for me to actually write a song. But I just want to point out, even in this version from 2007, <laughs> it's still checking for updates and it knows that Reaper 7 is that. That is just crazy. <laughs> so this is about a year or so after the old version, and you can see there's a lot of improvements already, like these uh, waveforms, they look better. You can actually expand the tracks. You also have all the normal, like, um, scrolling behaviors you're used to, so if I mouse up and down, it shrinks them, and if I do control scroll wheel, you get it vertically, which is exactly how it works in the new versions of Reaper. Okay, so let's try and add some plugins this time. Okay, I tried to add massive and it worked. Will it launch? Okay, it's in the trial version because I'm on Massive X now, but it works. I right click this and now, okay, yeah, all MIDI inputs. It is still not making any noise, however. Okay, what if instead of trying to play it in on my keyboard, I create a MIDI region and draw it in? Because it looks like we do have a piano roll. There you go. We have audio. Let's see what else there is. So if we go in this all plugins list, I actually see a bunch of stuff I recognize, like re-EQ. The EQ I still probably use the most, honestly. Weirdly enough, it somehow feels smoother in this version of Reaper. It behaves a bit differently, but like fundamentally as an EQ, 
it hasn't changed. I don't think you can get such a tight angle uh, <laughs> on the new versions of this, but that's so interesting. You can make some sick drum and bass with that. Okay, I think that's enough to do some MIDI editing. Uh, you can right click to select an area, delete it. All the MIDI editing seems really similar to what I'm used to. Dream vocal chops. You don't really, you can still sample, so you can still sample like parts of the sample uh, as you do nowadays. It doesn't seem, okay. There, You can change the attack, but you have to do it down here. Whereas I think on the new versions of Resamplematic, you just drag the corners up here, but that doesn't work. But we actually do have settings for attacks, so it's pretty cool. This is my best marshmallow impression. No way, my DZ works. Let's go, Cine wins. <laughs> Tell me that's not just straight out fire right now. This has effects, right? Oh my god, am I making funk? Am I making funk right now? This is this is a funk track. <laughs> Sounds like funk to me. <laughs> oh, the automation doesn't copy like it does in oh, New Reaper. F I accidentally just saved over the sample project, so I've just ruined it forever. <laughs> oh my god, I have an 808. <laughs> this is perfect. This is so good, actually. Just like I would in normal versions of Reaper, I can even chop some low end off the synth, that's crazy. I need, just need a really big snare. No, I've got no funk leads, no. Do I have any leads? No. <laughs> Hello? Let's put a drum loop in so it sounds better. <laughs> I want to couch this by saying that I am not an EDM producer. I make orchestral music. That was not possible in this old version of Reaper without um, an, probably an older MIDI keyboard and 32-bit plugins, neither of which I have. So please enjoy this extremely strange um, piece of funk music I wrote. Four bars is all you're getting. <laughs>